Hello everyone and welcome to the brush tutorial for Particle Builder. Today we're going to create some cool particle effects and I'll show you how you can speed up your workflow using Particle Builder. So I have here this image of a motorcycle rider and we'll go ahead and create a new composition. These settings look good. Click on OK and I'll go ahead and bring in the layer and I'll scale it down to fit better inside the composition. And the goal is to have particles coming off the back end of him because he's coming in this direction and we want to show the speed with these particles. So I'll go ahead and select my image and over in Particle Builder we'll find a particle we like. And we want to make sure this particle has the brush setting. So this one right here has brush. So I'll go ahead and click on the brush button and you can see it changes to apply brush and it also opened up our layer and pre-composed it and now we need to go ahead and draw where we want the particles to be. If you're using After Effects CC 2015 or before you'll need to select the brush tool yourself but if you're in CC 2017 it will automatically select it for you. So I'll go ahead and increase my brush size here go ahead and make it circular and now we can go ahead and draw our brush strokes. So I'll go ahead and draw them just along the edges here. And sometimes you'll have to tweak the hardness and opacity of your brush to get the look you want. And now if we go back over to Particle Builder, you can see if we hover over other particles, they say apply brush, but they're grayed out. So it shows us which one we're actually using. And once we have our brush, we'll just click on apply brush. And now it's going to generate our particle composition for us. So let's go back to our main composition and have a preview. So you can see we've got a nice particle effect happening off the back end, but we want to adjust it so it actually looks like he's flying to the right of the screen. Right now they're just floating upwards and it doesn't really look that great. So inside of our main comp, we'll go into this composition here. And you can see we have a null called control settings. These are the same settings as the particle settings inside of Particle Builder. So if I go ahead and go into my particle settings, you can see we have lots of different settings we can tweak to adjust the look of our particles. If you click on default, it will change all of the particle settings back to their defaults. We can change the hue color, which will change the color of our particles. We can change the amount of particles coming out. So let's say we wanted a little bit less, we could go with 1500. We can change the life of the particles or how long they appear, maybe half the time at 5 seconds. Actually let's do 15. We can adjust the size of the particles, so if we wanted maybe some smaller particles we could go with 5. The wind x is which direction on the x axis the particles will go, which is the horizontal axis. So if I go ahead and reduce this to the negatives you can see the particles are now floating a bit more behind him. You can see now the particles look a little bit better. The wind Y is on the vertical axis, so we can change how that affects it. You can see that looks a little bit more directional. The wind Z is the perspective on the Z axis, which basically adds a bit more depth. So if I increase this a lot to see the difference, you can see that changes the look. If we go to the negatives, can see it looks like that. The speed is how quickly the particles are flying. So if we want to, we can increase the speed to maybe 5. And we also have a cool option called wave. The lower this value is, the more straight the particles will be, and the higher the value is, the more wavy and distorted they'll look. So if we turn this down to like negative something, you can see they're very straight. So if we turn this down to say zero, our particles are going to look pretty straight. But if we increase the wave to say 300, they're going to be very natural and organic looking. And finally, there's footage color. This is a cool new feature in the newest version of Particle Builder. If it's off, it's going to be the default color of our hue. But if I turn it on, it's going to match up with where we painted. It's going to take those color values and apply them to the particles. So let's go ahead and preview this and see how it's looking. 
And as you can see, we've got a very wavy look and they're kind of shooting off to that side. So I'll go ahead and decrease the waviness to maybe 75. And I also want the particles to kind of explode off of him. So to do this, we'll create a time ramp using the speed option. If I hit U on our control layer, you can see we have a keyframe for our speed. And that's one of the cool features is that we can keyframe any of these values to animate them. So I'll go ahead and move this keyframe towards the beginning. And I'll go ahead and change the wind settings here. And increase the amount. And I'll go ahead and apply some keyframes to the speed effect. And hopefully we can get a look that looks like they're exploding off of him. I think that's a bit too many particles. And let's go ahead and go back into our main composition and preview it. And I also am going to reduce the life so they don't stay for as long and they kind of just come off and disappear. So that looks pretty good. You can see they shoot off behind him and create a really interesting effect that looks like he's moving towards us. And one more thing is if you're a more advanced After Effects user, you can animate your brush to do even cooler things. So we'll go into the composition particle builder generated for us. We'll turn off the shy switch and we're going to unlock and go into this emitter comp. And on the top layer, which is our mat, you can see we have a paint effect. So if we bring down our effects and paint, you can actually do things like animate your brush path as well as your stroke options to create cooler effects. So just a quick example, if I animate my start time and we go ahead and preview that, you can see we can create a sort of animation where the particles start at the bottom and go up to the top. So you can go in and adjust your brush settings to create even cooler looks. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how to use the brush feature inside of Particle Builder.